All right, so we removed the timing cover. And that strange noise that we were getting, I mean, of course, you know, it came out to be the timing chain. Um, it's very loose, very loose. There's a lot of play. Um, so there's no doubt that that's causing our problem. Although the uh, engine, it is running really smoothly. Um, luckily, the timing chain didn't jump or start or uh, break. Uh, so we're just gonna put it, you know, in its, in its timing marks here, here, those align with the bottom. We gotta make sure we do that before we take anything apart. And uh, once we get that aligned, uh, we're gonna put the new one, clean everything up, and then put the new uh, timing chain and uh, sprockets, and probably the oil pump as well. In order to start taking this apart, we need to align it into its timing marks. Um, of course, this uh, is the old one, and uh, we need to do it by two different stages. First stage, second stage. This is the first one that's gonna come out. So you're gonna spin the crank <coughs> towards the mark that's on the bottom. Let's see if you can see it. It's gonna be a dot right there. Those two dots need to align. Once those two dots align, uh, just make sure that the back of the cams are flat up okay I'm talking about this right here this should be flat up and the other one should be also flat up um, also you're gonna have the R right here and the R right here okay so that's gonna be the first stage once you're there you know you're in the right section if you're not there you're at the bottom but this is not flat up top uh, just make do another revolution okay so we're gonna remove it that way once we remove that we need to give the crank uh another um full revolution plus like another i don't know like another 90 degrees towards the um like five o'clock position and then you're gonna be in stage one so remember stage two stage one so once you're in stage one, uh, you're gonna be able to remove the primary timing chain, the tensioner, and this guy's up here, okay? So again, once you remove, once you turn into the five o'clock five o'clock uh, position, um, these two cams are gonna, are gonna be flat at the back, just like the first one was. So this one is gonna be flat at the back, and then you're gonna be able to remove this. You're gonna have, you know, the L, and then L over here, okay? Um, the five o'clock mark, it's going to be, <clears throat> it's going to be that dot that's by the water pump. It's gonna be that dot right there. So this dot that we saw over here needs to align right here. So again, it has to be on full turn, okay, plus, some change into the five o'clock position to the mark on the what on the oil pump okay and then you're gonna be on the first stage to remove the other two oil timing chains okay so i'm gonna do it So we're installing a 
original GM oil pump and Cloy's timing chain 9-0753S. Okay, it includes everything you need. It includes everything pretty much except the sprockets, the cam sprockets up here. Which to me it's not necessary right now because there's there's not they're not bad. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to install to install the oil pump down here. It's three 13 millimeter bolts. Okay, once we got we got that, we need to make sure <coughs> that the dot the timing mark is right here on the L and there's a dot right there. Okay, uh, over here. You have the L and a, and a mark right here. Again, you have to follow that the cams at the back are flat, like we talked about earlier. Okay. Um, so once you are when once you are in time, you put the oil the oil pump in. Um, you need to put in the sprocket, the idle idle sprocket. It's going to be this one because it has the gears on the inside, okay? And it has to be right, right there, okay? It's, pretty, it's the uh, tooth that's right in the hole, okay? So you gotta make sure that it goes right in there. And what I'm talking about is, of course, the, <coughs> the chain that's supposed to go in there too. And it's at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So, it's kind of hard to explain. Okay. I'm going to see if I can post a picture of where the timing marks supposed to go at. But uh, this two go up top. And this bottom one goes right in the hole. Okay, right in there. I'm gonna put this together with the guides and uh, I'm gonna walk you through it. So this is a phase one, okay? Phase one timing chain on this side goes one first. This timing chain and the bottom timing chain goes first on phase one. After you got phase one done, then you rotate to move into phase two, okay? So your line on the bottom is supposed to be the sprocket on the on, of the crank is supposed to be pointed at this dot on phase one, okay, for <coughs> timing chain one and two. Once you got that done, and you rotate clockwise to this dot, so this dot has to match the the, the crankshaft sprocket, okay. This dot, first phase, second phase, okay. This way, clockwise. All right. Once you got that done, then you can put the phase two chain. Okay, and on its timing marks. Once you got that and you remove all the uh, tensioners, you'll be all good. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a time lapse and see what we get. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, so let's make sure that this dot aligns with the dot that's on the oil pump. Just so you make sure that the crankshaft is timed correctly with the oil pump. Okay, once you got that done, then you continue phase one and put this timing chain up top, two sprockets, primary chain, tensioner, and then move it clockwise to this position, to this dot. Crank sprocket matching this oil pumps mark. Then you can put the phase two chain. Okay, first side, then second side. All right.
your crankshaft sprocket has to align with this dot on the oil pump as well of course the chain it's a mark on the sprocket the mark the timing on the on the mark on the on the timing chain as well as over here one two three okay and then you can put the tensioner and the guide once you got that put the release the tensioner and then you'll be ready to rotate from this point to this point over here okay from this point to that point clockwise and then you're going to be able to put the the second timing chain all right guys we did it so we are here all the timing chain is installed okay okay make sure, make sure your timing that... marks up top match correctly before you're loosening the tensioners okay because you don't want to start over and reset and all all that we need okay. make sure you clean all the surfaces correctly you know just because you don't want a, a leak after you finish installing everything you know that'll, that'll be the last thing you want especially with this type of job um torque specs tensioners and um guides 18 foot pounds okay the bottom sprockets the idle sprockets at the bottom uh those are 43 foot pounds i believe um so that's all you need and also the oil pump at the bottom is um 18 foot pounds so um that's pretty much it um it is a pain in the ass it is kind of difficult um it's more difficult getting to it rather than you know the job itself uh the actual replacement of the timing chain the problem is getting to it you know and it is possible good luck guys i did it so i know you can do it too all right it's not a hard job what's hard about it it's actually is getting to it so just do one bolt at a time one step at a time and you get it done okay if you're getting patient and frust fr frustrated just you know take a day off or something you know and uh get back with it in a couple minutes or whatever all right guys you can do it